Well, it looks like uh, it's another Operation Protect the White Boy again. You know what? Ever, as much as I have talked about or mentioned Operation Protect the White Boy in these videos, I'm kind of mad at myself for not creating a playlist dedicated to just that. But it is what it is. It doesn't really matter. So we are going to be talking about Greg McMichael. As you know, Greg McMichael is one of the three people who was involved with the murder of Ahmaud Aubrey, in which all of them are pretty much serving a life sentence. At least he and his son are that other one. He just has a lengthy sentence. By the time he gets free, he'll be old and decrepit. But it's recently come out that Greg McMichael has been moved to from from the prison he's currently at to a hospital a hospital that they claim is secure now i actually heard about this a couple days ago but i didn't speak on it because it wasn't a lot of details on it but now more has come out including the fact that they're not telling the people not even ahmaud aubrey's family who should definitely know every move that's being made when it comes to the mcmichaels and that other guy who i can never remember his name they should be telling them every move. But what they don't tell us is that they're not telling the people what's wrong with him and why he had to be transferred to this hospital. They're just saying they transferred him. I Red flags are being raised and I smell bullshit. But let's go ahead and get into it. One of three men convicted of the racist murder of black jogger Ahmaud Aubrey has been transferred to a hospital medical facility with Georgia authorities refusing to say why. Gregory McMichael, age 68, was sentenced to life in prison without parole in August and sent to Georgia Diagnostic and Classification State Prison near Jackson. But on Tuesday, it emerged he is now in Augusta State Medical Prison. It was unclear whether he has been transferred there temporarily due to illness or if it is a long term situation now they want to talk about his illness and i believe they're going to mention some more about his so-called medical issues in the past because i kind of skimmed through the article before i read it aj Bal balbo or balbo mcmichael's attorney referenced his age and health problems after the hate crime sentencing in august he suffered a stroke several years ago has heart disease and takes medication for depression and anxiety okay so what there's a lot of people who are locked up who have medical problems and they not getting moved to some kind of medical secure hospital. They let them stay right there. They just give them the medication that they need and they keep it moving and they continue to enjoy their three hots in the cot the same way that he needs to be. But peep that they said he suffered hate problems after the hate crime sentencing. So are you telling me that if he got if he walked that he would not have these issues? I swear they telling themselves every time. Neither Balbo nor the attorney for the Aubrey family have returned Daily Mail's dot com's request for comment. Wanda Cooper Jones, Aubrey's mother, told the judge in January last year that she was vehemently against any of the three receiving special treatment when the lawyers argued they were unsafe at a state prison. Granting these men their preferred choice of confinement would defeat me, she said. It gives them one last chance to spit in my face. Joan Heath, Georgia DOC Pu Office of Public Affairs Director, told ABC News that McMichael would have not served his sentence in the original prison, but would not say why he had been transferred to hospitals once offenders complete the diagnostic process at georgia's diagnostic and classification prison they are moved to their permanent housing assignment based on their individual diagnostic evaluation as in the case with offender mcmichael she said so they're basically telling you right there that he's not going to spend the rest of his days or at least right now in the state prison that he's supposed to be in right now but to put him in this medical facility <sighs> Like again, Operation Protect the White Boy, and as Rob at Blacklight Revelation Two says, the world is correct. We're seeing both of these play out right in front of our face. The diagnostic process is routine for all offenders in entering the GDC. Can someone confirm for that for me down in the in the chat or the comment section? Because I've never heard of this before. But then again, this is another state thing, much like I talked about with Jack Dawson. That was another state thing with that youthful offender status talk. Specific details of diagnostics evaluations are part of an offender's institutional file and are not subject to disclosure. 
Augusta State Medical Prison houses severe medical cases, according to the Georgia DOC, and offers centralized acute specialized medical and level four mental health services for male and female offenders, primarily as transient. McMichael was sentenced along with his son, Travis McMichael, the man who fatally shot Aubrey, a neighbor, William Roddy Bryan, age 52, was sentenced to life with the possibility of parole. Last August, the McMichaels were again given a life sentence after being found guilty of federal hate crimes. Brian was sentenced to an additional 35 years. This is some nonsense. Leave his ass to rot exactly where his son is in that other one. Ain't nothing wrong with this man that they just can't slap a bandaid on and send him on his way. Talking about, oh, his health got worse after he got convicted for hate crime so it just accelerated is what you're saying again if he had walked i bet they wouldn't have been talking nothing about his health i swear they just make up excuses that's why i keep telling y'all these dub s's are some cowards they will spew all this hate talk online they will try and sometimes get in your face they may even pop off and do something but then once they enter a situation like this that they can't wiggle their way out of this is who they become I cannot take any of them seriously, none of them, no matter their age, no matter their gender, no matter their political leanings or religious background, none of that. All of them, in my opinion, are the exact same. And this one right here is no different. Now, that's funny they're talking about medical treatment and whatnot. Did Bill Cosby get that same kind of treatment? I don't think he did. I don't think Bill Cosby had the luxury, even though Bill Cosby's net worth is miles beyond his. But remember, Bill Cosby, at the end of the day, is still a black man in America. Wealth ain't going to change that. But he has some medical issues when he was in, in locked up, but they didn't move him to a hospital or a secure space. They kept him right there where they locked him up initially and that's where they kept him up until he became a free man now what does that tell you you had bill cosby someone who's been a stand-up comedian world-renowned actor successful television show philanthropist all of the whole nine versus this bum who murdered or helped in murdering a black man got sentenced to life in prison for hate crimes and other charges, but they moved him to a medical facility because his, because he had a, a little heart murmur. Allegedly. Okay. I see what they doing here. It's pretty obvious. That's why I said, I can't take dub as seriously at all. They are, they are some of the weakest people when it all comes down, when it all comes down to it, that's who they are. They will not bust a grape in a fruit fight. Let's just be clear and honest with ourselves here.